Your twin flame is always healing with you. Yes, you heard me right. You are always making the same core choices because you are one. And twin flame journey is all about self-development and healing and self-love. In this video, Daniel and I will share with you five advices that we would have told our younger unhealed self that will also help you on your twin flame journey. And it doesn't matter whether you are in your twin flame union or you still experience the illusion of separation. This video is for you and you will have a lot to take from it for you. And we made those mistakes so you don't have to. Advice number one, your twin flame is not the source of your pain or your traumas. I know this is a big one and a hard one as well. When you start the twin flame journey, everything is so amplified. Everything feels so painful. You see all the blocks you are having towards your twin flame. You see all those upsets. Maybe they're even with a different partner. Uh, maybe they don't want to have anything to do with you. Whatever it is, you experience just, you know, big separation, pain, and all of that right in your face. And you're just like, what the heck is happening here? I totally get you. And so this is why many people think like, oh, the twin flame journey is super hard. It's super painful. It brings up all the traumas. And yes, your twin flame is your perfect mirror. They bring up all the things that are not in alignment with love within yourself, where you believe in pain, where you still cling on to her, that this is real. But once you heal yourself here and recognize that your twin flame is all about love and they're just mirroring you so you can love yourself and you're not longer dependent on them, you will see them getting magnetized to you instantly. Because once you've healed yourself in all those places where you feel hurt, where you believe you can be hurt, you can be separate from your twin flame. You just give love to yourself in that space and your twin flame will reflect that. And the beauty of this journey is that your twin flame is not only reflecting like the stuff that is out of alignment, but they are also reflecting the stuff that is in alignment already. And whenever I love myself, I experience my man being more attracted to me every time and vice versa. And the beauty of the twin flame journey is also that it's amplified. You might experience this like, this is why it's so, you know, big, right? Sometimes so traumatic and I get you. We all move through that and it doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to cling on to the belief that it has to be big. It has to be dramatic and you don't have to experience more pain in order to experience more healing and love afterwards. It's not about that at all. Mm -hmm. You can always claim to move through everything in peace and ease and claim all of your support. We will go deeper into that in the next advices, but this is a big part. You don't have to suffer through it. It can be a very loving and wonderful and awesome journey. And you will experience more and more support and love from your twin flame as well as you give it to yourself. Advice number two, be more compassionate with yourself. When we start the journey, we tend to be very harsh on ourselves because of of all these bad feelings we tend to look into or this person, you know, what all these things that arise from loving someone or what we understand as loving someone. But you don't really need to fall into this guilty or drama or pain that you are feeling. A lot of people think that, and I also thought that at the beginning that I had to endure a lot of pain or, you know, heartbreaks in order to claim my union because I thought like the more suffering I went through, the more I will get back, you know. But that's not the truth. You can always choose for this to be easy and fun. And you might think like, how can this be fun if I'm going through so many upsetting feelings and whatever you are going through? But it doesn't have to be bad or painful. It can be very peaceful and fun, as I mentioned before. You just need to choose it within your heart. You just need to feel what is causing you this upset, what is being mirrored to you. And once you are clear on this feeling, then you can move from it because that's the only purpose of this journey, to find peace in all these places within your heart that are not in complete peace, whether it's, you know, your inner child or 
just your boss yelling at you because something happened and it's, it was not your fault. That's all you need to do. You're just loving yourself and you're just mastering self-love in this journey. You are getting to know more yourself and learning how to properly love yourself because no one teaches you that. No one teaches you how to move through your feelings by loving yourself. Everyone's used to the guilt and the drama, but no one is used to the real true love. And that's what you're really mastering here. This is what your twin flame is teaching you, to love yourself in any circumstance, any feeling, any emotion that you find within yourself that is not peace. And the moment you understand this is the moment where everything becomes easy and fun because you are just entering in this loving place within you that you are creating for yourself and by yourself and no one can touch that. No one can take that from you. So this is all what is this about. Self-love, real self-love that will stay there forever, for all eternity. And this is what the opposites are teaching you and showing you to love yourself. I love that. Maybe it's also helpful to just see you as innocent because you are learning a completely different way. And as Daniel already shared, this is completely new. Not many people have walked the path in front of you and not the world is not teaching you this. And so, yeah, be compassionate with yourself. It's, it can be very challenging when you don't have the right support and when you just blame yourself. Like in step two of the mirror exercise, by the way, the only tool you need to heal twin flame separation once and for all, it's said that you project the upsets onto you, but it's not to blame you and to make you even feel worse, but it's to take responsibility for your reality and see that you have all the power to heal and create the reality that you desire. And that includes a reality with your twin flame. You don't have to be perfect in order to be with them already. That's like a bonus tip right here. You don't have to be perfect. Yeah. You can heal together and grow together. This mm. is something that Jeff shares in a class that you don't really need to heal all the blocks to your union. You just need to heal the core ones that are really stopping you from having your twin flame. And from there, you just enjoy your twin flame, keep growing, keep learning together. Your journey doesn't stop with your, once you get your twin flame, then you start building your life together, your purpose on many different areas in your life. So whenever you find yourself make be guilting or blaming yourself in these areas or like giving up on your journey because you are not getting a real result, Just be compassionate with yourself, be patient and ask yourself like, what do I need here to feel supported, to feel loved? What would I want my twin flame to mm. do in order to make me feel loved? And you just sit with it and give yourself that love that you are looking or asking for. Give it for as much time as you need and, you know, integrate that in yourself and keep going. The mirror exercise one-on-one. -on -one. Advice number three, always put yourself first and stop putting your twin flame on a pedestal. Ah, oh, I know we keep intent looking to our twin flame. Oh, my twin flame is doing this and that. Oh, my twin flame blocked me. Oh, they are with a different partner. Oh, they, they do this and that. Oh, why are they not uh, communicating with me? Why don't they respond to me? It's like, you see what I'm doing here? I'm always with my attention on them. What are they doing? How are they feeling? Why are they don't see, why they don't see that we are twin flames? Like I literally showed him the article about the twin flame signs and he is like, no, we are not twin flames. I don't want to have anything to do with it. We get that. <laughs> we all have been through that and it's okay to experience that. Yeah. It's just to see, I'm doing this right now to show you that you don't have to put your attention on them. Not at all. The funny thing is that it actually repels them because they can feel your clinginess. They can feel it. You are one. They can feel it. Even though they don't say and admit it, on some level they do. And your twin flame always mirrors you. They are your perfect mirror because you share one consciousness. Once you've learned to put yourself first and always ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? How am I feeling about that my twin flame is rejecting me? 
how am I feeling? What do I need right now? You know, you care about yourself. You put yourself first. Your twin flame is inviting you for a dinner right now, but you feel like I want to relax. I want to give to myself, but you're scared that if you reject his invitation, for example, that he might, you know, never come back. And this is your only chance to grab it. And you have to go, even though you don't feel like it. Same goes with friends when they invite you for something. And you can apply this on any other situation in your life where you feel like you give to others first before giving to yourself. You always ask yourself, do I really want this right now? How am I feeling about this? Is this going to give to myself? Am I going to feel loved by through this situation? And then you apply it. Do you do what you need to do in order to feel loved, in order to feel good. And believe me, every time I say like, hey, I don't want to hang out right now or just give me some space, he's even more attractive to me. And then I'm just needing, you know, two more minutes to give to myself and he's like all over me and vice versa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every time. Remember that this is a inner journey first. It's not an outside journey. So if you feel scared that you might lose an opportunity with your twin flame, that's not the truth because... You cannot love yourself and your twin flame, you know, will fall apart or away from you. No, that's mm -hmm. not true. The more you love yourself, the more you go within yourself, the more you magnetize your twin flame. And this is true spirituality or scientific spirituality info or work. You know, it always works for everyone. It works for us. It works for other couples and it will work for you. So don't be afraid. To go within yourself and ask yourself, what do you need to feel more love? Because it's all about that. Filling yourself with love in order to attract love. Mm -hmm. and, Law of attraction, one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yeah. And when you master this, you will have no problem having a date with your twin flame. In fact, you will date your twin flame every day of your eternity. You know, it won't stop tomorrow. It won't stop the next week. Mm -mm. It will never stop once you get this done. This is also a beautiful part of the Twin Flame journey. You heal something and it's gone forever. You don't need to work through that again. Mm -hmm. You can let it go because you are loving yourself. And where love is or where love exists, there is nothing else. There is no separation. There is no fear. Yeah. And you always go deeper. It doesn't stay at one level. You always go deeper. You always experience deeper love deeper compassion, deeper respect and support from each other. And it's beautiful. It's awesome. It's an eternal journey full of joy. And I would do it all over again. Yeah, me too. Advice number four, don't compare yourself or your journey with others. That's, this is a big, big mistake that I made a lot of times. You know, I was always looking at other couples, at other stories. And I was like, why is my journey not looking like them or going like that or... Why am I not being as successful as them? What am I doing wrong? You know, like you fall into this trap of questioning yourself if you are doing something good or wrong and like measuring yourself by the amount of success you have in your outer experience. But that is not the way to walk this journey. You don't look outside of you to see if you are doing right. You go within and you measure the amount of peace you have. This is something that you have teaches everyone like you go within and you feel peaceful and when you are peaceful then you are successful and if you are feeling peaceful right now then you are being successful right now even if your reality doesn't look the way you want it to look right now it doesn't matter and something this is something that it was very important for me because the moment I stopped looking or trying to control how my union looked that's the moment Carmen show up in my life like literally the next day or something like that, she was there because I was, I stopped controlling my journey. I stopped controlling my union and I allow her to be how she is, you know, and myself. And from there we became friends and this can happen to you too. Just let go of control, let go of fear and just allow yourself and God to bring you what is perfect for you. But because it doesn't matter how your twin flame journey is looking right now you just need to focus on yourself and enjoy every moment of it before I came in union with my twin flame I was enjoying my life like I never did before I was going to the movies alone giving myself a lot of nice time with myself listening to the music I love like I was living without any 
constraint or restrictions within myself. I, I was just allowing myself to be happy and complete with where I was in that moment, you know? I wasn't, like, my financial status wasn't the best, but, you know, I was just enjoying what I could afford at the moment. And I was into this place where I was, you know, if if my journey takes me like a hundred years, I'm okay with that. And if it happens tomorrow, I'm okay with that too. But, you know, I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling peaceful. I am enjoying my life. And it didn't took me long to manifest Carmen. You know, it happened like the next month or something. And then a few months later, we got in union. So don't compare yourself. Don't, it's related to don't be hard on yourself. The point we talked about a few minutes ago, be compassionate with yourself. Love yourself and be patient. You are where you are supposed to be and you don't need to force yourself into anything. You are worthy of love right now in this moment. You might not see it, you might see it, but you are worthy of love right now, of your own love. Advice number five, a very, very crucial one, and congratulations that, that you made it until here. You already proven to yourself that you have what it takes in order to endeavor on the Twin Flame journey fully. Advice number five, get the right info. When it comes to your Twin Flame union, you want to get real info that will get you real results in your life. There's a lot of people out there talking about Twin Flames and how they work, but they are just really basing their info on soulmates. And soulmates, they don't work like Twin Flames. They will not mirror everything as your Twin Flame. Your Twin Flame will mirror everything that you heal, whether it is self-love or finances or whatever you're working on in your union, your Twin Flame will mirror that. So you want to go to a place that will give you actual real results where you can invest your life force and won't get your time wasted. And you can find that in Twin Flames Universe. There are a lot of free resources that will help you a lot in your journey and that will guide you perfectly in whatever you find you are struggling with. Whether you are going through a third party situation or your Twin Flame blocking you, your Twin Flame, I don't know, doing something crazy and you just don't like that, you will find how to heal and move through that perfectly. That's why Twin Flame Universe have coaches because they are already experienced in that and will help you move through all those blocks in a way that is peaceful and easy for you and for everyone. This journey, this work has worked for many people. It worked for us and it will work for you. You can trust that. So if you want to find out if you are ready for your Twin Flame, you can take our free Twin Flame test in TwinFlamesUniverse.com and, you know, start, start your journey, start your healing and claim your union for the rest of your eternity, not just this lifetime, but all your existence. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe and leave us a comment if you like. And with that being said, see you in the next one.